say heads up to this five minute quickie it is a question but also a way of thinking and a way of just checking in on yourself it's all about that blooming old voice in your head and we're gonna just well well you're gonna have to wait and hear aren't you have a listen now Hey, this is the Personal Development Unplugged podcast, where we use hypnosis, yeah, hypnosis, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, don't worry what it is, it's just a mass of processes that we're going to get you to change, change to let go of anxiety, low self-esteem, and create massive, massive supreme inner confidence. But that's confidence in your competence and competence in your confidence, which means you can do anything and be, well, be safe to enjoy, enjoy the world as it should be with you at the helm, creating the life that you want. That's what this podcast is about, you and being the best you you could be, singing from your real voice, aligned with your mission, aligned with your passions. That's what it's about. So if you're interested in letting go of anxiety, if you're interested in letting go of fear, guilt, all those blooming syndromes, imposter syndromes, and every little bit of the mind which is negative, then have a listen here because we've got some wonderful processes and lots of good conversations with between you and me to get us both thinking in such wonderful ways. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Just take the trance to have a, have a listen. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. Hey, my friend, another five minute quickie. And this is just a bit of a, bit of a, a sharing, I guess, and just thinking out loud. You see, this is a question I sometimes, or when I've had maybe a couple of wines or a beer, might ask somebody, and I'll ask them about the voice in their head. And as an aside, did you know a long time ago, you used to get locked up if you admitted to having a voice in your head? They thought you were, but you were silly and daft and absolutely needed real, you know, containment and all that stuff. And if you think about it, we've all got a voice in our head, haven't we? I guess we all have. And the thing is, here's the question. Here's the question you ask. Get to it, Clavy. Come on, for Christ's sake. Here's the thing. When you think about that voice in your head, has it changed? Has it changed? If you go back to your very earliest of memories, talking to yourself inside, is it any different to now? Or if you go, say, 10 years ago, presuming you're over 10, is it the same as it was back then, right now? And just think about now, talking to yourself. Just say, you know, hey, is it the same voice? Think about it from this morning, maybe, or this evening, or whenever you've, you're listening to this. Just think back a few minutes ago before you did it, you know, when you thought about, oh, I think I'll play this. What was that voice? Has it ever changed? Because when I think about it, I've been with me since I've been me. And it is just me being me. And it's sort of my consistent and constant friend. And the thing is, I don't think it's really changed. I don't remember it, me speaking to myself when I was younger with a younger voice. It seemed to be the same voice I've got now inside my head. The only difference is I don't, I have more wisdom, I hope, more experiences to talk about. But the voice is the same. Isn't that weird? Is it weird? What is it for you? It's something nice, I think, just to think back is because, you see, unless I give myself a right good rollicking, and I wouldn't talk to my best friend that way, but I do sometimes at myself. And why would you do that to this wonderful voice inside that's been your constant companion, your constant friend, your constant person to have a, it's like your twin, I guess, to speak with. And here's what I wanted to do today. And I wanted you Just, you know, we do that stopping and pausing stuff and stopping and pausing version two, 2.0, things like that. 
But what I wanted you to do was just to uh, have a chat with your voice. Maybe just for once. And you don't even have to do this with your eyes closed. Just say to yourself, hey, how you doing? Hello. Notice what comes back, because sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. But you might just get that twin, that best friend, that constant best friend of yours. And where does that voice come from? That's weird, isn't it? And the thing is, what if, here's a what if, what if you did this hooking up again, just going inside and saying hello, if you did it with no other intent than to check in on your best friend? How are you doing? How are we doing? Knowing that internal voice might be something more. I'm not going to suggest it's your unconscious mind, but you never know. It's going to be part of it, isn't it? Isn't it? So maybe you just check in every now and again. Or if you find yourself giving yourself a bit of a rollicking, you can say, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a minute. I say this to myself. I'd say, hang on, Cluffy. This is your best friend. You don't say that to the, to that person who's with you all the time. What would be a nicer thing to say? How can you support each other? How can you just be together? There you go. That was a five-minute quickie. The weird thing in my head, the voice in my head, but the weird thoughts I have, and I wanted to share them with you. So maybe you, maybe you ask, a, ask this type of question to someone else you know and see what, what answer you get for them. Is it the same as me, same as you? Anyway, until the next time, my friend, have a wonderful, wonderful chat with yourself. Have more fun than you can stand. It's time to fly. Bye-bye. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.